Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about hazards. Hazards are nothing but unwanted switching transients that occur in the output. Okay, so hazard it is nothing but it is nothing but an unwanted an unwanted switching transient switching transient that may appear that may appear at the output of a circuit because because see what do you mean by hazard? Hazard is nothing but unwanted switching transient. Unwanted. We, did, we actually don't want this transient. But suddenly it causes because of the different paths. Okay. Because the circuit may consisting of different input sections and output sections. Different paths that the signal may pass through. So when, you, when the signal is passing in different ways because of different gate delays the output will reach at different different time instants because of that we will be having some unwanted switching transients those transients are known as hazards because they are not actually required okay so different because different paths different paths exhibit different propagation delays different propagation delays okay for example for example i am taking one and gate here i am taking another and gate here the output of this and gate and this one are connected to r gate okay this is one example now this is a b c d this is output and A, B are passing through this and then this is connected to output and C, D are passing through this and gate and connected to output. Okay, the output, the output of this first and gate is connected to the input of R gate and the output of second and gate is connected to the is connected to the input of second input of the R gate. R gate is number three. Okay, if the output of first and gate and second and gate both reach the input of R gate, then there is no problem. Okay, let us consider for the inputs which are given at the time is equal to t is equal to zero instant. It is it is zero. Let it be, suppose the time t is equal to 0 instant I am giving and time t is equal to 1 second at the output from the first and gate and the output from the second and gate both occurred at 1 second and the output from the third, second, third gate is also something like 2 seconds. So all these are synchronously happening means there is no problem because whatever the output we are expected to perform that will come. But if the output t is equal to 0, we will be having the AND gate input occur. But a first AND gate is generating the output after 1 second. And the second output, second gate, second AND gate is generating the output after 2 seconds. After 2 seconds. Then what happens? Then what happens? The output which is generated here that goes and waited at the uh, waited for the input of the second one suppose if any output is already there in the previous stage that will be taking and gives the output with a different scenario okay so actual output is one here the output has to come as one but here it is maybe zero the previous output may be zero so the output will be a different one okay so this type of delay in the propagation of different paths the signal is propagating in different paths this delay causing the problem in the output okay we are not actually getting the original output this is the hazard this is hazard there are actually two types of hazards available they are and actually this type of hazards are known as glitch or 
spurious spike spurious is nothing but unwanted okay such transient such transient is also called a glitch such transient is also called a glitch or spurious spurious spike spurious spike is nothing but unwanted spike which is caused by hazardous behavior of the logic circuit which is caused by hazardous behavior of the logic circuit now hazards can occur we know there are two types of uh, digital circuits one is combinational circuit another one is digital circuit combinational circuits are nothing but like your and gates multiplexers decoders and coders all these logic gates are known as combinational circuits and sequential circuits are nothing but flip flops registers counters all these are sequential circuits sequential circuits are nothing but which includes which includes memory okay but where these hazards occurs is it in combinational circuit or in digital circuit or in uh, sequential circuit hazards will occur in both the combinational as well as sequential okay by seeing the standard definition of the hazard it can occur in both the sequential and as well as combinational because it may be uh, having different paths in any of the circuits and that will give you a problem of hazard okay hazards can occur in both the combinational and sequential logic circuits okay so hazards are of hazards are of two major types hazards are of two major types they are first one static hazards static hazards and second one dynamic hazards static hazards and dynamic hazards by seeing the name itself we can understand by the meaning of english static and by the meaning of the dynamic we can understand what do you mean by static hazard and what do you mean by dynamic hazard so static hazard is nothing but where the output is continuously in only one state static which is constant okay so dynamic is nothing but which is continuously changing okay so hazards are continuously changing in the dynamic hazards and whereas the hazard is continuously in one state either it may be in logic 1 or it may be in logic 0 continuously for a long time then it is static hazard okay again static hazards again static hazards are classified into classified into two types okay if the output is continuously in one state then it is static one hazard if it is continuously in zero state it is static zero hazards so first one is static one hazard and second one static zero hazard do we have any such type of classification in the dynamic hazard like a dynamic zero dynamic one no because dynamic is nothing but always changing so it changes like 0 1 0 1 0 1 like that okay then we don't have such type of uh, classification at the dynamic hazards okay so let me tell you what do you mean by static one hazard <coughs> static one hazard so static one hazard is nothing but if the output is expected to be one if the output is 
expected to be 1 expected to be at 1 regardless regardless of the changing variable of the changing variable regardless of the changing variable the spurious zero level for a short interval the spurious zero level the spurious zero level for a short interval for a short interval is called static one hazard is called static one hazard okay suppose static one hazard see here it is one suddenly because of some unwanted change you will be having a spike in the output to your logic zero again it stabilizes to one actual output should be one see if the output is expected if the output is expected to be at one regardless of the changing variable okay even if you are changing the input we are expecting the output to be logic one but because of the spurious logic zero the input the output will be changing from one to zero for very short duration for a very short duration again it get back get gets back to the original one state expect what we have expected that okay so this type of hazard is known as static one hazard static one hazard and coming to static zero hazard static zero hazard static zero hazard is the opposite case of the previous one okay if the output is expected to be at logic zero if the output is expected to be at zero regardless of regardless of changing variable changing variable spurious one level spurious one level for a short interval for a short interval is called is called static zero hazard static zero hazard so what do you mean by that see actually we have expected that to be zero but because of some unwanted change the output will go to logic one and again comes back to the logic zero for a very short duration it goes to the it has a spike and goes to the logic one and again coming back to the zero okay this unwanted change is static zero hazard okay statically it should be zero but we have one spike because of one spurious level or unwanted change okay and coming to the dynamic coming to the dynamic dynamic is nothing but name clearly tells that it is dynamic uh, continuously changing dynamic hazard dynamic hazard <coughs> it occurs when it occurs when the output changes it occurs when the output changes for two adjacent for two adjacent input combinations for two adjacent input combinations so while changing the output should change only once but it may change three or more times or very short duration also okay so it may be going like this one zero one zero it's like a clock signal actually it appears like a clock signal it is one zero zero one 
zero one zero one continuously. This may occur for three or four times, and it sometimes it may be occurred for continuous duration. Okay, so dynamic hazards occur only in multi-level circuits. Very important point is dynamic hazards. Dynamic hazards occur in multi-level circuits. Multi-level circuits. What do you mean by multi-level circuits? We will be having number of sets. Okay, multi-level circuits is nothing but this is one set or one output circuit. Okay, small logic circuit, and this output is given to another logic circuit. and this output is given to another logic circuit so when we are having this type of multiple levels then this type of hazards like dynamic hazards may occur okay so what is the remedy for this static hazards and dynamic hazards the one and only the remedy for this one is using redundant gates using redundant gates the remedy for hazards is using redundant gates redundant gates using redundant gates okay one uh, suppose suppose we are having for example for example what do you mean by redundant gate i am explaining now for example see here this is some k map okay the, in this k map we are having one here one here one one okay uh, when we are taking this type of k map and mapping is like uh, always we are going for one type map one time mapping okay this is one set and this is another set okay so it gives one expression and it also gives another expression so what is the expression from this one it is a and this one is b bar and here it is bc okay the expression for this one something like y is equal to ab bar plus bc this is the normal expression what we generally consider okay this is there is no redundant term in this particular expression but when we are going for the hazard removal definitely we should consider the third one <coughs> we should consider the third one which actually produces some redundancy but because of that one we may avoid this hazard problem the expression for this one is it is a and c so then for hazard free for hazard free network y is equal to a b bar plus ac plus bc here ac is a redundant term though we have to consider because it provides a hazard free network how it provides hazard free network because of multiple paths okay sometimes it may be delayed but another time it may be corrected okay so this is what the hazards and hazard free realizations thank you